All right, so this video is going to cover um, angles of depression and elevation. And this is section um, 8.4 in geometry. And depression. So angles of elevation and depression. So this really has a lot of the exact same type problems as the trig ratios. But we kind of call them something different and we look at it as this elevation idea and um, this depression idea. So let's do a basic example that we can label here so we know what I'm talking about. Okay, so from here, let's draw a horizontal line. All right. And this one is parallel and kind of goes this way. Let me show you what I mean here. Okay, so here is kind of the idea, and we're talking about an angle of depression because we're going from here down to here. So this angle here would be an angle of depression, and let's call this B, and let's call this A. So this is going to be an angle of depression um, from B to A. Okay, and this other angle is going to go up this way. So this one is an angle of elevation from A to B. Right, so there's our angle of elevation our angle of depression. So I'm just going to show you some examples that the book has because they have pretty pictures and it's easier to put my camera on it than me draw them. Okay, so this might be similar to some of the problems you're going to see in the homework. If I can get that up there. Okay, so let's look at this picture first and we'll look at problem nine. Nine says um, describe or describe each angle as it relates to the situation in the diagram. So we're looking at angle one first. So when we look at angle one, is that an elevation or is it a depression? It's an elevation and angle one is going from, what is that thing? They, I think they called it a submarine there. It, doesn't quite look like one. So it's going from the submarine towards the boat there. So you would say that's an angle of elevation from the submarine to the boat. So problem 10 it says, what about angle two? Well, this one's down, right? So this is an angle of depression and you're going from the boat to the submarine. Okay, so question 11 asks about three, and this one is an elevation also, because we're going up from the boat to the tree. Okay, so you get the kind of the idea. So elevation, depression, you're gonna label a lot of them. Now let's do um, these two examples here um, down at 20 and 21 um, on paper, so I can show you just a couple more questions so that you might see. So we might see something like, this is my first kind of example here. Let's see a right triangle. And they give you uh, that this one here is 27 degrees here and they give you that the side here is 580 yards and they say find this side over here. So there's kind of the information they've given you. What do I do with it? Where do I go? This is not want to stay. My, my cords are kind of twisted up today. Okay, so from here we have to know a couple things. From things that we've learned earlier in this semester, we know that these two would be parallel because they're both horizontal lines, meaning that this is a transversal, and if this is interior, this is the alternate interior, so this angle here is also 27 degrees. So that's kind of a big thing you have to realize. 
so that you can get an angle in this side in the triangle so that you can then see that we have an angle and we have an opposite side and we have a hypotenuse because it's our 90. So I can use sine of that 27 is going to equal x over 580. So then you need your calculator from there. So I'm going to find the sine of 27. So sine of 27 and hit enter and I get 0.4 something and times that by what was the number 580 and I get 263 so X is going to equal 263.3 and that makes sense if that one's 500 that this one would be 200 ish um, you wouldn't want one side to be 500 and you get 0.2 for the other so um, that, that you probably made a mistake let's do one more similar to that one what if I had and I'll just try to draw it quick instead but I really like using a ruler <laughs> um, if I didn't know that side, but I know this side's 2, and this angle of depression here is 18. So same idea, if we know this one's 18, then this one has to be 18. And if that side's 2, this side's probably going to be pretty small, um, So because this one's longer. Anyway, so let's look at this one. So now I know opposite from the angle of 18 and I know adjacent. So that's going to give us tangent of 18 is going to equal opposite over adjacent. And then again we have to put that tangent of 18 in our calculator and then times it by 2 and we're going to get that x is equal to about 0.65. And those are really the only examples I'm going to give you. So you just need to memorize like what is depression. So it's going to be from the top down. And um, angle of elevation is going to be from the bottom up. So you can label those. And then you're still using those same functions that we learned in the last chapter or, or section.